here for a year that you brought us through, through very tumultuous times, through times that unimaginable that we did not believe could happen, but we survived, and we survived because of you, Lord. Yeah. And we'll survive 2023 because of you. Yeah. We may not have all the niceties that we are used to, that we become accustomed to, but we don't need them. We have you, and as long as we have you, we are doomed to be successful. Thank you for every blessing. Thank you for every hill you took away from us. Thank you for getting a room so that we could make it no matter what. We've lost very few people, and we thank you for that. We thank you that in the next year, we're going to lose even less. We're, we're confident of that, because all we need is our faith in you, and our faith is stronger than it has ever been before, and it's going to be stronger. Thank you for every blessing, every opportunity to serve, and every opportunity to bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, church. Our scripture will be coming from Psalm 150 and Isaiah. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with the temple and dancing. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with the clap of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Are you believing great things today? Are you truly believing great things today? Well, here's an opportunity to do something great today. Here's an opportunity to give. It's giving time, everybody. It's giving time. There are several ways to give and support the ministry through your tithes and your offerings. As you prepare to leave today, the ushers will be at the door to receive your financial blessings and support. Or you can use Giveify app and type in Pay Memorial Baltimore. Don't forget that Baltimore, you all. <laughs> or mail your support to Pay Memorial, 1714 Madison Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21217. Or you may bring your support to the church on Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We thank you for giving. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, oh Heavenly Father, that we are able to give. We thank you, Father, for all that you've given us, and we can't thank you enough. So the little bit you ask from us is nothing compared to what you've done for us. And we say thank you in advance. Thank you for a new year. Thank you for this house called pain. And thank you for this opportunity to give. May God bless you in your giving. We want to take a moment just to give a reflection on watch night. Did you know that New Year's Eve is watch night, but it's also Freedom's Eve? For 160 years, the passage to each new year has marked the anniversary of one of the greatest turning points in American history, the proclamation. However imperfect, that led to the end of slavery in the United States. On September the 22nd, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln declared that he would free enslaved people in southern states if those states did not end their rebellion. He signed this threat into a decree on New Year's Day. Northern abolitionists, including Rochester's Frederick Douglass, held vigil to wait for a signing that fear would not come. In southern states, many historians believe enslaved people held reverent watch in secret midnight services on the eve of the new year, waiting for liberation that was just a rumor. Frederick Douglass said, it is a day for poetry and song, a new song. These cloudless skies, this balmy air, this brilliant sunshine are in harmony with the glorious morning of liberty about to dawn up on us. So initially meant to welcome emancipation, today the watch night service encourages reflection on the history of slavery and freedom as well as reflection on the past year, both its trials and its triumphs, while also anticipating what the new year will have in store. It is a continuation of generations of faith that freedom and renewal lies ahead. Let the church say amen. amen.
going to tell somebody God is a keeper. God is a keeper. Uh, and a way maker.
we have hope that next year will be better. For the believer, this hope is because God's year never ends. For the God who saw us through this year will be the same God, I said the same God, who will follow us into the new year because his years never end. Thank God there is no end in sight of his love, no end in sight of his mercy, no end in sight of his grace or his guidance, his direction, his peace. He marches right into a new year with us. As one year closes and another one is on the dawn of beginning. And if we were to do an end of the year audit, we will find that he has been faithful every single month of our existence through the good, the bad, and the ugly, the disgusted, the disappointed, and the discarded that we face in a year. Can I get an amen? amen? He never broke his stride of riding the wild waves with us that had us feeling like we were on the biggest roller coaster that was ever built. He spoke into our hearts like the vision devotion tells us. He won't let us go. And do not fear nor be shaken. There is no other rock of shelter, especially when life packs a wallet right there smack between the eyes when we weren't expecting it. Or in the gut, or both, leaving us dazed and numb. And all we can do is close our eyes and lean on his grace. Or run into his presence and hide knowing he'll never turn us away. And on days like this, or in weeks, maybe even months, all we can do is process our pain with the Lord. Can I get an amen? amen. For the Lord, for with the Lord, there is no end to his comfort. There is no end to his presence. There is no end to his blessed assurance that he got. Hebrews serves as a reminder that Emmanuel is with us every single day from the beginning to the end in the form of his son. And that he is superior to the ministering angels given to help, help those who will inherit salvation. The author also dares us to remain in disbelief when he challenged us with the questions for us to ponder. He asks, which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son? And today I have become your father. Did he ever say to the angels, I will be his father and he will be my son? For when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. And he says about the angels, he sends his angels like the winds and his servants like flames of fire. Then the writer proclaims, in the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you, Lord, you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe, like a garment. They will be changed, but you, O oh Lord God, will remain the same, and your years will never end. And the message Bible remix tells us, you master, started it all, lay earth's foundations, then crafted the stars in the sky. Earth and sky will wear out, but not you, O oh Lord. They become threadbare like an old coat. You'll fold them up like a worn out cloak and lay them away on the shelf. But you, Lord, ha, you'll stay the same year after year. You'll never fade, you'll never wear out. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank God he will never fade. He will never ride off in the sunset, never disappear like the fashion of previous years, or become obsolete like the latest tech gadget or smartphone we had to have. He will be as fresh today as when he first laid the foundation of the earth. Heaven and earth might pass away, but the Lord our God years will what? Never end. His years will never end. He just carries over. His years will never end. He just carries over. Sometimes in basic math, a person just learning how to add or subtract fails to use the principle of carrying a number over in order to solve the math problem correctly. It is just like real life. 
when we fail to carry over what we learned in the past or from our mistakes, we will find ourselves going through life incorrectly with a deficit on how to live. Yet when we look back over and up to our God who brought us through the trenches of yesteryears and know he is the same God who will bring us through the upcoming trenches because he is a carryover God into our new year, just waiting to show himself in order to reveal once again that he is indeed a way maker and a miracle worker, we will have what? No fear. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever we get at the end of our ropes, our never ending God is there to grab a hold of us and pull us through once again. He carries over his goodness and his mercy without hesitation. Thank you, Jesus. His years will never end. He just rolls over. He just roll over. Tell somebody, God just rolls over. He just rolls over. Some employers have a system in place that if an employee does not use up their vacation time, it will not roll over into the next year. The policy is if you don't use it, you lose it. Thank God our God never tells us if we missed out on seeking his face this year, don't look for him next year. Thank God our God doesn't use a calendar to mark off the days we have called on him. Bother to seek his face, but instead did please our way. No, our God is a rollover God. Every new year gives us a fresh start that never expires in our account to call upon his name, to hear from him, to receive from him, and to watch him work things out. I say, watch him work things out on our
the amen. There is no end, and there will never be an end to who he is. I'm here to tell you, he'll be here forever. Time will pass away, and there will be an end to time as we know it. But there will never be an end to the Father, never be an end to the Son, never be an end to the Holy Spirit. They will continue on into infinity. And that is what? Good news. Good news. Good news for us. For when the clock strikes midnight tonight, we are assured that our God will carry over, roll over, and continue on to do what he said he will do with us in our lives. Hallelujah. He is an ever-present Father every day of our lives. That is why we join in singing all of our life. We have never known him to fail because he remains the same. Then we make it more personal. He woke us up this month. new life 
and a new year. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, you are a born-again believer. And look at God. He allowed you the last day of the year to say yes to him, letting you know it's never too late to say yes to him. We invite you to call Pay Memorial African Methodist Episcopal Church located in Baltimore, Maryland to let us know that today, December 31st, you gave your life to Christ. We have a Bible we want to give you and we want to celebrate your new life with you and walk with you in the new year in your faith. The church number is 410-669-8739. Again, 410 410- 669-8739. Come on, Pay Memorial, let's celebrate. Amen. Is there anybody in here who prayed their prayer for the first time? Amen. Just raise your hand. Hallelujah. God is good. Well, we are about to celebrate a new year. Do you believe 2023? So in the tradition of our faith, if you feel comfortable, I want to invite you to the altar just to kneel. Or you can kneel where you are. It's fine. You can kneel where you are. You can come to the altar. And we're going to render some prayers. Amen. As we invite Christ into our setting. to aid the least of these so that they may see you and glorify 
glorify you, our Father who is in heaven. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. And Lord, we want to dedicate this next year to you. We know it hasn't begun yet, but we want it to have a wonderful start. Let your will be done, not ours. We will be lying if we said we haven't already paved some plans for ourselves this next year. But if they do not align with your will, we ask that you do not allow them to happen. You know what is best for us. You know us far better than we know, even know ourselves. We ask that this be your year, Lord. We ask that this be your year, Lord. We surrender ourselves as an empty vessel. Fill us with your joy. Fill us with your love so that we may outpour it on to others. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. And so God, we thank you. Thank you. We praise you. Thank you. Honor you for the opportunity to be in your house one more time to be at the precious altar where you always will meet us there. Thank you for every prayer that's being rendered right now. Thank you for every tear that's being falling from their eyes right now. That you're collecting their tears and anointing them with their own tears. Let them know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. God, we thank you that from the north, the south, the east, and the west, you will send your goodness and mercy upon all of us and our families and our friends. God, we ask that you to let peace be done on this earth, goodwill towards men. Stop the violence. Stop the crime. Stop the killing. But let peace abide. Let love abide. Let joy be overflowing and let it begin with us. Oh God, we consecrate this year to you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, that the people of God say amen. amen. I'm happy to tell you it is 2023. Come on.